Hey guys, we're into our inspection report now and I'm gonna take you through an overview of it. At the top, we have our just general client information up here. We get into the access limitations of your property. Was it fully accessible, restricted, partial? And then from there, we get into is it slab on grade or is it crawl space? If you don't know what your property is, we shot a video that's on YouTube and you can also check out our Facebook page for that quick video there and it will tell you exactly is it slab or crawl space. Let's determine for right now it's slab on grade. We get into if there's any cracks, is there any standing water, has it settled, has it patched or repaired or is there uneven areas. If any of this is determined, then we go over into our floor elevation survey. Our floor elevation survey goes through your house marking out point by point by point with a level to determine how level it is. All those points are added up and then we get a good range on how level your property is and then if there's any areas that need to be properly leveled. The other type of foundation is crawl space. Just a general overview on crawl space foundations. They can be built on a stem wall that's concrete, um, brick, or they can be built on piers. What we look for when we're in the crawl space is, is there any deterioration? Is there any patched areas? Moisture stains? Is there any poor ventilation? Is there any patched areas? Or any earth to wood contact, which will have some termites that could get in there and take care of business on some wood members. The sill plates are the outside perimeter bottom part of the wall that sits on top of the foundation. We're going to check to see if those areas are crushed, decayed, or if there are any staining that's going on with them that would result in repair being needed. The girders are the main beams that are up underneath your house. And we're going to check for twisted, is there sagging, crack, decay on them. We're going to indicate that. On top of the girders is the floor joist. We're going to check again if there's any twisting, is there any sagging, crack, or decay that's going on in those. Then we're going to check out your piers which we're gonna check for if there's any twisting and is there any settlement, is there cracks, or are they improperly supported or are they uneven? Once we determine all this information, again, we're gonna draw out your house here and indicate on there where the sill plates are damaged, where the girders are damaged, where there's piers that need to be replaced. In addition to that crawl space, we're gonna check out the subfloor from up underneath to see if there's any crushed or decaying areas, if there's stainage that's going on or any soft spots in there, and we can get in there and determine if repairs are needed on that. Our repair suggestion is right here. Again, it just gives you all those quantities that we went over along with general comments uh, based on the repairs that are needed. We give a quick signature and a date to that and that completes our inspection report from top to bottom. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave comments below or you can email or give us a call. Thank you again.